This is about as intimate as someone can get with artwork. They're basic cleanings that the students are undertaking, but it's real important work. But today was such a great day. The students immediately got hooked. I mean, just to see this dynamic, you know, that comes out of working with these objects is gratifying. For the purposes of our exhibition, we're trying to clean as many of these as we can, which is not to say strip the paint or the destruction from them, but just to clean them up for viewing. As a matter of fact, some of this tells us a lot about the way this collection has been treated over the years. The originals that these statues are cast of were usually made of marble or bronze. And some of those objects have since been destroyed and lost to history. So the cast allows us to have as real a sense as we could get of what that original looked like. Cast collections usually were teaching tools, the perfect textbook in 3D. Um, and they were also tourist attractions. The casts represent a certain cultural heritage, but not everybody wants to identify with the kind of cultural um, baggage that they bring with them. Casts were considered white heritage. People would just reject uh, this part of their history because these museums had sort of been imposed uh, on them to teach them not only what good art is, but also what the beautiful body is, namely the European body as opposed to the native one. That very oppressiveness was something that um, generated these kinds of violent responses, especially from the 60s, 70s, 80s. And um, the metope, which has I'm art written on it in graffiti, is a good example of that. I'm art, it's saying I represent the canon, which is something now to be overthrown. We hear stories of being rolled down the light slope or you know, being just destroyed, some were painted over, and a uh, major part ended up in this warehouse where they are in storage right now, but you know, look like trash and nobody really knows what to do with them. The deans asked me to take care of the cast collection and I realized these casts won't have a chance here if not everybody in a way identifies with them again. So I thought instead of just complaining about, you know, what happened to these poor casts, to bring students to get to work with the cast. I've been really lucky to have a hands-on experience with ancient sculpture that you otherwise don't normally get. Working with the casts has been a material and physical way of formulating my own ideas about authorship and originality in art. The idea with this piece is not to get it back to its original condition, but to make it structurally stable so it remains an educational kind of piece about the history of what this collection has been through. Not only were they removed, they were really uh, like violently uh, destroyed. Whether in Europe, in the United States, in Japan, it did not only happen uh, at Cornell, but in this exhibit, we want to understand it as a particular moment of Cornell's history. The destruction of a work of art is often spoken of as iconoclasm, the throwing down of images. And there is another way to see acts of destruction, which is that when an image is defaced or destroyed, that process generates a new image, a new kind of visual experience so we could think of that as an iconoclash rather than an iconoclasm it's something that isn't just destructive it's also generative and it's a story that's worth telling it's definitely exhilarating to see them in the chilled water plant they're objects that have such a vitality throughout history and to see them juxtaposed against the modern background is really exciting this disused industrial building is itself a kind of relic of a former stage in the history of Cornell, just as the casts are themselves. And together the, they generate a new kind of experience, an iconoclash in a way. I think the exhibit is fantastic. It's so unlike anything else I've ever seen. I think if we were looking at this show in kind of a dry white space, we wouldn't feel compelled to maybe ask as many questions about how they got to the state that they're in now. This new background, let's say, or environment, might make these cars speak in a different way. And now they become something else. It's a moment of creativity for everybody who works with them.